Hello. Hi. Hello, everybody. Um, I say everybody. That's quite a hopeful expression that we're going to get lots of subscribers to our channel. So, you know, if you haven't done already and you're watching this, please like and subscribe. Um, it's good to know that our ramblings are um, valued and listened to and probably laughed at. So um, that's all good. Uh, so what are we doing today? Um, we were due to be making this journey a lot lot earlier this morning. I unfortunately was waylaid with the DVSA getting one of our minibuses tested. Uh, we were due to be tested at half past 10 and they said, oh sorry mate, you're just gonna have to wait. So eventually at half past 12, we got our slot. So we're a little bit late on the road, but we're off to Doncaster. Um, and we're gonna have a look at another van. I did say at the end of our last vlog that um, we were considering it. So Margot is currently being offered for sale. Um, we're not 100% convinced, are we really? No, it's mainly centered around the bed at the back. We've got a queen bed. Um, and my, myself being a larger lady, I really struggle to get um, down the side of the bed, especially if you need to get out to go to the loo in the middle of the night. Uh, there isn't an awful lot of room. So that's mainly driving on need to look for something that's maybe a bit more space in the bedroom. We're thinking sort of the two singles, aren't we? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so we haven't we... fallen out, by the way. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, so the the van we're going to have a look at today is a mobile Vetter. Now, ironically, this was one of the first ones. There was one there. <laughs> this one's just driven past as we spoke. Um, this is one of the first ones of the A-Class that we actually had a look at and really, really liked, but we ummed and ahed about it a little bit um, but, and ended up going for the Cathargo. But I've had a look at the mobile battery again and there's a couple for sale, this one at, at Doncaster especially. It's got the twin beds at the back, it's got all the bells and whistles, but what I really want to understand is what the build quality is like. We've had the Cathargo and so many people have said, you know what, Cathargo, they're up here. You know, outstanding build quality, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't agree more. So we've really got to try and manage our expectations a little bit, haven't we? Just to see, oh, another camper van. We're waving, but we're not in Margo, so that's a bit weird. Um, just gonna see what it's like. Uh, is it gonna suit us? Are the fixtures and fittings of a, a decent standard? Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really, really understanding. Before we bought Margo, um, we had looked at probably seven or eight uh, ours is a, 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 it's either an L50 or an I50, I, I can't remember. Um, and we looked at Lowe's, didn't we? Um, yep. I think it's quite, I don't know, some of them quite shocking really, weren't they? Yeah, to be offered for sale in the state that they were. And, and it's an investment as well at the end of the day, isn't it? It's a huge amount of money that you outlay, regardless, um, you know, regardless of the type of van you get, it's a big investment and, you know, you want it to be right it's got to be right. So so that's, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go and have a little look. Um, we're in the Land Rover today, not Margot, obviously. Bean is with us in the back somewhere over there. Um, and let's just let's just see what happens. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, and we can, we can only try and take it from there. And then we're off to Peterborough to the Motome Show on Sunday. And that'll give us a really good idea as to what's out there. And we may say, you know what? We will put up with and persist with um, the Cathargo because it is an amazing wagon or we might see something else that, that takes our fancy. So let's see how we go today and uh, we will report back on our findings and hopefully give you a bit of a guided tour of the K Yacht 85 Auto uh, Mobile Vetta that we're going to go and have a look at very shortly. So we just pulled up outside this place in Doncaster <laughs> and we turned around in this yard and it was the most bizarre sight. We pulled in and it was called Equine Dreams Riding Centre. And there was a zebra. Can you imagine? Just a zebra. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> we've had horses all our lives, haven't we, really? And, um, you know, we've ridden lots of different things. But why in God's name have they got a zebra in a riding centre? That is a bit mental. I mean, it looks like a lovely place, don't get me wrong. And the zebra was quite happy. But you expect to see them out in the Serengeti or... Um, just somewhere in a uh, wildlife park or whatever, but they had it in a riding school. Bizarre. But then again, you know, you go out and you look at motorhomes and you see all kinds of things you would never expect to see in the oh, yeah, first true. place anyway. So yeah, interesting. So 
Mobile Vetter and K Yacht 85. And we're just having a look around, um, just trying to compare it really to to our Margot and, and really understand what's what's going on. I mean, Sarah, what do you think? Be honest. Parts of it are like. Yeah. Parts of it are really, I'm not sure about. Um, what, what, what do you like? I like the two single beds. Yeah. It gives us the freedom of movement between the beds. Yeah. So if I want to get out to go to the loo, can do. I like the shower. I think that's, that's really an improvement nice, isn't it? on the Cathargo. Yeah, it's got that More glass space, open door. It, it looks sort of hotel standard. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, really like that. But then if you swing around and you look at the bathroom part, the bowl, yes, but the rest of it hasn't got that hotel standard that no. the Cathargo has. And also this door. I don't like this at all. That's like, it's like, like you get on British Rail. Yeah, or some kind of industrial door. It's just a bit weird, yeah. isn't it? And there's not as much storage in here. No, it's just that one cupboard, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, there's a cupboard down there. Yeah. It's just little things like obviously the Cathargo has the like the the, the carpeted walls. This is flat yeah, wall. Just this, didn't you? Over here, it's yeah, a little. It's a sort of build quality. Qu and the cupboards aren't finished the same inside. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Bang. Yeah, so it's you can tell it's not Cathargo. However, however, it has got some it has got some good point pot spots. There's a nice bit of storage. I mean I like the idea of this bin over here. I think that's a really cool idea because so when you're prepping food, oops sorry, you can just you've got your work surface and you can uh, well, let get me show that done. you this. We have a cupboard, we have shelves inside now. How did you do it? Somehow, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, okay. Look at that. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Deep storage, but it's yeah. stained. You've got to remember it's, it's nearly two years older than ours. Yeah. And the plastic finishes. Is that plastic? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's plastic, aluminium. It's yeah. aluminium. But, yeah. Uh, Don't yeah. know what that is. Don't know what they're for. You know, these switches. Switches are the same. I mean, externally, it's okay. It, it looks It looks all right. What's under the seat? A locker. Oh. And you can't get to it the same way as ours. No. Okay. But it's still still additional storage, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? Control points, telly, a max view aerial thing up there. Obviously, oh. oven, which is quite handy to have. Sorry, can't have it. Why? It hasn't got the drinks. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cab is very similar though, isn't it? Yeah. It's brown instead of silver. Mock carbon fibre, but it just isn't... It's not finished to that same high standard, is it? But we're very, very... We can't forget, we're very, very lucky to have what we have. Obviously, there's a bed there that comes down from above. There's lots of LED lighting. So it's, you know, it's super modern. Tell you there. Blue LEDs. Yeah, blue LEDs. If that's your thing. Fridge. Yeah, it's a fridge. So, yeah, from the outside, I think the only thing that really lets it down on the outside is the fact that, and I think this is quite typical. And excuse the wind noise. It's quite typical. Mobile Vetter is the decals just go really bad. I mean, look. I mean, the, the chap that's selling it does have uh, a pair of, uh, a set of decals, original decals that can be fitted. Um, but I just don't know. It's a, it's nice looking from the outside, but again, the decals there have gone really, really awful. So we could put a new set on, but, you know, what would they last? I mean, this is a 2017, so maybe six years. Um, but, you know, looks looks nice outside. You know, it is it is modern. It's a lot more modern than our current van, looking wise. But does it have the same le the same level of, of comfort? This is a question. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, price wise, yeah, there's wiggle room. I would I would think there would be. I mean, it's obviously got a few others over here. 
but the, you know, this is um, you know, it's quite a significant piece of kit. Yeah, he's got an outside shower point, outside barbecue point. He's got the satellite system on the roof. He's got 200 watt solar panels. He's got an inverter. So he's got everything that we, we, we need and everything we want. Um, you know, it, it looks it looks a nice piece of kit. It's just those questions. So that is that for now. We'll uh, have a coffee and have a chat and let's see if it's worth swapping for, or not swapping at all, selling Margo and, um, and having a look at this. So we're back on the road, back on the A1, uh, we've left, left on Caster. Um, it's now really a case of just really thinking it through. What are your thoughts? I know you, you, we spoke in the, in the van itself, but now that we've got the freedom and having a 10 minutes of driving to think about it, what do you think? More or less the same. Um, a little bit disappointed in some of the finishing on it, but it's it's not an old van, um, but it's got a few years on it. It's maybe been a rental, don't know. A um, bit shoddy in places, but other things make up for it. Like I said, the shower screen and the shower itself and the beds, which is why we're looking for a new van anyway. It ticks those boxes, but it's just the finish. It looks like it's had quite a hard life, doesn't yeah, it? I think we've been spoiled, haven't we? We've gone in at cargo level, and yeah, those expectations aren't fully met in the mobile factor. Yeah, I'd agree. I think it's the finish, the build quality and the finish. When you open a, a storage locker and you can see the screws that have been screwing it together. It um, clunks when you shut it. Yeah, I think the weird weird toilet door, some kind of industrial thing. Mobo Veto, you know, fine, cutting edge of design or whatever, but that is a mistake. It's a bit like you get on the trains. Yes, it is. Where you it? press the button and the door goes like that. <laughs> but on this one, you can't press the button no. because you have to do it manually. Not that manually is a problem. But I think we've been well and truly spoiled with Cargo. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it the van for us? I mean, the beds would work. They'll yeah. be great. Access is great. You've got the overhead bed, um, you've got uh, upgraded gearbox, satellite on the, the roof, twin solar panels, you've got everything that we need. Uh, yeah, we've we've been very, 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 very lucky to have a Cavago and you know we've we've got used to that that level. Um, I think you do little things like in the, the lockers, you open the lockers, the back at the back of the lockers. No, they're, they're very cleanable, which is great. You can wipe them down. In ours, you've got the carpet. In that, you haven't. It's just little things like that, I suppose, that you just notice. Um, I, I've never really worried about whether there's carpet in the back of a, a, no. a cubby, cupboard, storage unit, call it as you will. And access to the van is better, in my opinion. You don't have the step that pops out. Fold your step, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little bit lower. Mm. It's got all the insulation. Um, it's a tough one. Maybe we look for one now a year or two in Europe. Yeah, we could have a look, see if there's any difference. Um, see if it's, I mean, that one, like we said, might have just had a bit of a hard life. Um, and, you know, we, we may be being you know, unkind, discourteous, call it as you will. But I think, I would like to think maybe we could find one that would be looked after just a little bit more, perhaps. Well, the search continues. So, yes. <laughs> um, so we'll keep looking. Um, we're going to go on Sunday to Peterborough. We'll see what they've got to, to, to see. Um, but we're just going to have to really go from there. We'll keep looking. We've got to sell Margot first. Um, you know, and that's not going to be the easiest of, of jobs to do. So let's suck it and see. So there you go. That's what we found out on, on this little visit, on this little mission. Um, we're heading back down the road now. Um, hopefully you found some of this to be interesting, maybe a little bit informative, just looking at the different kinds of vans that are out there. Um, we'll do a little bit more on Sunday when we go to Peterborough. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe to our channel. Please provide us with some feedback should you wish to. We are very novice we are new to this game, uh, and any guidance you would be willing to provide would be greatly welcome. Or any ideas we can consider that maybe we haven't thought of. That's a good shout, actually, yeah. If you, if you know of, of vans that we should be thinking about, oh, look over there, there's a massive camper van site. 
Wow. Um, well, what's it called? Grattans. Grattans, my or whatever. So if you're at Grattans and you're watching this, please give us a shout. Um, I think our ideal scenario is going to be a Cathargo instead of the 150, the 149, isn't it? Yeah. With the twin beds at the back and then everything else being exactly the same. Uh, we've got friends who've got one who have recommended it to us. Um, it's just trying to, to track one down. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe and we'll be back with you again soon. Bye for now.